Well, welcome back to the Baseball Hut. And we're going to talk about something kind of different. I'm going to talk about the draft, which we talked about here, but we're going to talk about next year's draft. And before we get into and a big player, an exciting player that is lighting up in the College World Series. But before we get into that, I need you to sub subscribe to the Baseball Hut too, and like the video and let me know what you think. So, as you know, they got the College World Series going on. And a lot of the prospects that are in college are going to be and have been playing uh, this year and that are going to be drafted. And a lot of them, some of the players are going to be drafted next year and the year after that. Now, on July 9th, we're going to have the MLB draft. And uh, what time? I guess 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock it'll start. Uh, the word is, is that the Pirates will select Dylan Cruz and the Nationals will probably all likelihood pick Paul Skeens. It's a very heavy college draft, a very heavy position player draft, a lot, a very heavy shortstop draft. But as I was saying about the College World Series, uh, there are going to be a lot of players that are playing, and one of the players who's going to be drafted next year is Florida's Jack. And I hope I get his name right. Keep my fingers crossed. His name is Florida. Is not, his name is not Florida. His name is Jack Caglione. And I have an ESPN headline for you. Florida's Jack Caglione. Best Shoei Otani impression coming in at Men's College World Series. Interesting. And it's written by It Doesn't Matter. Actually, it's written by Jeff Pazan. Uh, Jack Caglione was a freshman in high school in 2018 when Shoei Otani arrived in Major League Baseball. Like so many, the 15-year-old Caglione marveled at Otani's ability to hit tape measure home runs on the same day he threw 100 miles per hour. His fascination went beyond just gawking, though. He aspired to be Otani. Quote, I just thought it was the coolest thing ever, he said. I'd always done both, and it was something that I planned to do in college. And seeing the way his game grew and keeping a pretty close eye on him and studying all that he did, that was exactly who I wanted to be. There's going to be so many kids that are going to want to be like him. That's a tough road to go down. Caglione is 20 now and primed to make his men's College World Series debut as a sophomore for a strong Florida Gators team. In a bracket loaded with future MLB stars, he might be the most fascinating. Of all the players in the past five years to attempt playing both ways to embrace the mental and physical burden to have the goal to think he can imitate Altani, none has done it as well as Caglione in 2023. And his first college season as a two-way player, Caglione didn't pitch his freshman year as he recovered from Tommy John's surgery. The six foot five, two hundred and forty-five pound left-hander led the country with thirty-one homers as a first baseman and regularly hit ninety-nine miles per hour. A fastball that carried him to a three point seven eight ERA over sixteen starts. While college baseball is populated with far more two-way players than pro ball. Almost all of them leave behind such aspirations, eventually focusing on whichever position will best set them up to professional, to play professional ball. Paul Skeens, the best two-way player in the country last year, ditched hitting after he transferred to LSU, where he flourished into the best pitcher in college baseball and a certain top five pick. Like I said, he's going to go number two. Caglione has no such plans. Being the next great two-way player, he said, is his future, quote, I don't really see me really stopping unless a team flat out tells me down the road that I've got to pick one or make the or makes a decision for me. I have no interest in stopping whatsoever. Which means the player who gladly wears the nickname Jack Tani, given to him by Nick De La Torre, a writer who covers Florida, who introduced himself to the country on college baseball's grandest stage this weekend. And if he lives up to expectations, it will undoubtedly force teams to continue asking themselves the same question they've been asking all year. Can he do it in the big leagues? Well, I don't know. That's a that's a tough hole. Now, there are some big players that have gone to uh, Florida, uh, one of which is Pete Alonzo. And uh, this kid's got pretty big power, I guess. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens with him. Uh, we're a year from now to when he'll get drafted. Uh, there's more to this article, but this doesn't it doesn't matter. You're gonna see more players like this. You're not you're gonna see more players coming from in the States. You're gonna see other players coming from Japan that wanna to aspire to be this guy makes you wanna like 
Take you take notice of Otani. Uh, you take notice of him because he's so great. And because he's so great, you can't help. You always want to be around greatness. And greatness is what makes people want to do better, want to do more. And clearly, this young man wants to do more uh, with his career. He just doesn't want to be a, a good player. He wants to be a player that's remembered. Otani's always going to be remembered. Even if he's not in the Hall of Fame, he's always going to be remembered. People are going to be remembered. I mean, there's the legendary, iconic Shohei Otani. And young players and young people, they want to be uh, near greatness and want to be like great players. So let me know what you think about this video. Of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut 2. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.